The Titanic tragedy is etched in history, its story echoing the profound pain of over a thousand lost lives. Yet behind this well-known calamity lies a myriad of hidden facts and unforeseen coincidences that made that night even more hauntingly tragic. What was the eerie chain of events that culminated in this catastrophic event? Which shocking details have been overshadowed by the main narrative? Dive deep as we unveil 20 spine-chilling facts about the Titanic that you've never encountered before. Prepare to have your understanding of this maritime disaster transformed. Stay tuned as the waters of history are replete with shocking conspiracies. Number 20. Origin of the Iceberg The iceberg responsible for the sinking of the Titanic was no ordinary ice formation. Stemming from a unique climatic event, its birth was the result of a particularly warm and wet spell four years prior to the Titanic's fateful journey. This unusual weather pattern caused glaciers to weaken and become more prone to calving. Researchers from the University of Sheffield revealed that the Titanic's icy adversary measured an astonishing 400 feet in length and weighed a staggering two megatons, equivalent to the weight of 40 elephants or even a small moon. This formidable iceberg, in the making for several years, easily crushed over 100 meters of the Titanic's hull as if it was mere paper. Number 19. Imposter Funnel Adding to the Titanic's list of fascinating facts, atop its majestic frame sat four towering smokestacks, commonly referred to as funnels. Most would assume that these structures all served a functional purpose, releasing the ship's exhaust. But in a twist of early 20th century aesthetics, only three of these were operational. The fourth funnel was purely decorative, added by the white star line to give the ship an appearance of unmatched speed and safety. Hidden within this imposter funnel was a lavish first-class smoking room designed to pamper the ship's elite. This element of subterfuge wasn't unique to the Titanic alone. Its sister ships, the Olympic and Britannic, sported their own faux funnels. To these luxury liners, the allure of aesthetic grandeur seemingly surpassed the need for mere functionality. Number 18. Lifeboats. In the vastness of the ocean, over 2,200 hopeful souls embarked on the Titanic, unaware of the impending doom. Despite the sheer number of passengers, the ship's design grievously lacked safety measures, with a mere 20 lifeboats on board. This was shockingly inadequate compared to the 64 lifeboats needed to ensure the safety of everyone aboard. This shortfall could be likened to attempting to empty a flooding boat using only a teaspoon. Right side on me, hold the left side! Right side on! Hold the witch, Astoundingly, the decision was rooted in aesthetics and perceived luxury. The Titanic's owners believed that an excess of lifeboats would blemish the deck's appearance particularly for the privileged first-class passengers. These outdated priorities reflected the era's safety standards, which lagged far behind. With the unsinkable label attached to the Titanic, the belief was that, even in the face of disaster, the ship would remain afloat long enough to rescue everyone, making multiple trips using the few lifeboats. However, the grim reality manifested when the Titanic sank in a brief 20 minutes. Later revelations unveiled a document where the ship's safety inspector fervently implored the addition of at least 10 more lifeboats. Yet, in the pursuit of grand profits, the ship owners dismissed the plea. Had they heeded the warning, almost 700 lives might have been spared. Number 17. Lifeboat Drills Shifting focus to lifeboat drills, these were an established norm in the early 20th century. Expectedly, the Titanic was to conduct weekly lifeboat drills. Yet, on the fateful day of the tragedy, these drills were inexplicably cancelled. The one who made this call was Captain Edward John Smith. Although his rationale remains elusive, speculations arise that he favored holding a final Sunday service before his retirement. However, even as drifting ice was reported southeast of Newfoundland, other vessels took precautions. Captain Smith's decision to cancel the lifeboat drills on the Titanic was akin to disregarding an airplane's safety briefing. That night, as fate would have it, fortune deserted the Titanic. Had those drills been conducted, even a few more might have had a fighting chance at life. 
Number 16. Rust. Rust's relentless grip on the Titanic is an eerie saga of nature reclaiming its own. The once mighty vessel that fascinated millions has been clandestinely consumed by a microscopic army. Deep in the Atlantic, three and a half kilometers below, the ship's once pristine surface is now a playground for metal-eating bacteria. Combined with the merciless salt corrosion, the Titanic's grandeur fades faster than a mirage. By 2030, all that might remain is a haunting silhouette of rust. In this underwater abyss, the ship isn't just rusting, it's metamorphosing. The disintegration is so profound that the ship now dangles with grotesque rusty icicles, as if the very frame is shedding tears in metallic anguish. Number 15. Hygiene. Switching from the ship's exterior to its once luxurious interiors, the Titanic also has a secret that could make one's nose crinkle. Hygiene. While the vessel boasted state-of-the-art facilities for its time, it's a stark reminder of the luxuries we take for granted today. Think you know the meaning of a crowded shower after a workout session? Think again. The third-class decks of the Titanic tell a tale of 700 people vying for two showers. Picture this. 200 women scrambling for one, while 450 men queued for the other. The tight squeeze made it a challenge to wash away the day's grime and fatigue. And oh, the first-class passengers weren't necessarily bathing in luxury either. Private baths, yes. But think of a regime where you're permitted to soak just once a week. It's a world where the privilege of cleanliness was rationed, and even the elites aboard had to bear the omnipresent aroma of sweat, a constant reminder of their arduous transatlantic journey. Number 14. Thomas Andrews. In the heart of the Titanic's construction stood Thomas Andrews Jr., the brilliant naval architect who crafted its iconic design. While many marveled at its splendor, touting it as unsinkable, Andrews wasn't as easily swayed. When disaster struck, his knowledge of the ship's anatomy meant he grasped the grim reality faster than anyone. As water seeped into the ship's chambers, he calculated its fate with chilling accuracy. The Titanic was doomed. But Andrews didn't crumble under despair. Racing against time, he weaved through the corridors, urging passengers into lifeboats, prioritizing their safety over his own. Every second counted. Every life mattered. Despite the shortage of lifeboats, he pushed, persuaded, and did all in his power to maximize the number of souls saved. The dark waves of the North Atlantic eventually claimed the Titanic, and with it, Andrews, a selfless hero whose legacy is of bravery in the face of unparalleled tragedy. Number 13. Human Remains Amidst the cold, unfathomable depths of the North Atlantic, the Titanic rests as a haunting reminder of the lives it took. Tales emerge from its eerie corridors, like whispers from the ocean floor. In 2004, an unsettling image caused quite a stir shoes and a leather coat, subtly hinting at a human form trapped within the sunken behemoth. Could these be the eternal remains of a passenger? James Cameron, the intrepid filmmaker who dared to visit the Titanic wreckage 33 times, claims he witnessed no signs of human remains or personal effects. But with a catastrophe that consumed roughly 1,500 souls, is it plausible that all victims ended up beyond the ship's confines? Merely 340 bodies were salvaged, while the rest vanished into the abyss. Could the uncharted recesses of the Titanic still hold these undiscovered souls? The Titanic isn't merely a submerged relic, it's a somber memorial. The fervor to safeguard its sanctity ensued soon after its discovery in the vastness of the ocean. By 1986, measures were in place, designating the Titanic as a protected memorial site. Number 12. Construction Deaths But the Titanic's grim tales began even before its doomed voyage. The colossal ship, worth one and a half million pounds, demanded a tragic price. The construction phase bore witness to the demise of eight workers, while 28 more suffered grave mishaps. Based on the staggering costs, as many as 15 fatalities were grimly anticipated. Among them, James Dobbin, met a particularly harrowing end, crushed on the very day Titanic made its public debut, as over 10,000 eyes bore witness. The memory of these unsung heroes was etched on a memorial plaque in Belfast in 2012. And now, a fresh enigma emerges. A photo shared by a subscriber shows an uncanny figure, seemingly wandering amidst the ship's debris. An optical illusion, 
or a ghostly apparition? The Titanic's legacy continues to baffle and beckon. Can you decipher this cryptic image? The mysteries of the Titanic are yet to be fully unraveled. Number 11. Engineers. Amid the chaos and icy darkness of that notorious night, a group of valiant men, the very heartbeat of the Titanic, battled against time and fate in the scalding engine rooms. As passengers clutched their precious belongings, the engineers led by Joseph Bell were in a relentless race, struggling to keep the Titanic afloat. This courageous group, comprising 24 engineers, six electricians, two boilermakers, and a steadfast plumber and his aide, remained at their posts, ensuring that the ship's lights did not dim and the distress signals persisted until the very end. They were the uncelebrated heroes, sacrificing themselves to give everyone aboard the sinking behemoth a shimmer of hope. Number 10. Binoculars. But among the depths where the Titanic met its doom lay another tantalizing mystery, an artifact that could have perhaps rewritten this tragic tale. Binoculars. These weren't ordinary binoculars, they might have been the ship's very salvation. Researchers pondered for years, could these binoculars have been the difference between disaster and safety? The answer lies with David Blair, a sailor meant to sail with the Titanic. Fatefully, Blair was left ashore, and with him, the key to the binocular case. Without access to these crucial tools, the vast expanse of the ocean remained a dark mystery, hiding its lethal icebergs. Fred Fleet, a survivor, declared with certainty that had those binoculars been in hand, the Titanic could have avoided the iceberg's deadly embrace. Skeptics may argue the limitations of a moonless night, but the ocean's silence that evening, devoid of even a whisper of waves, concealed the danger that lurked beneath. The binoculars, locked away and untouched, stand as a chilling reminder of what might have been. Number 9. Jacob Astor IV. The Titanic, a ship of dreams and despair, saw passengers from a myriad of backgrounds. One such prominent figure was John Jacob Astor IV. With a lineage adorned in riches, Astor was an icon in New York City real estate. His endeavors weren't just confined to building towering edifices. He also co-constructed the luxurious Waldorf Astoria Hotel with his cousin, William. However, with grandeur came great tragedies. As fate would have it, while returning to America with his pregnant wife, they boarded the Titanic. But the ship's impending doom was unkind to Astor. With the women and children first protocol, Astor was left behind while his wife secured a place in a lifeboat. Imagine the richest man aboard the ship, standing alone, facing the unfathomable depth of the ocean and destiny. Yet, Astor's legacy was not just in his vast wealth. When his remains were recovered, among the poignant reminders of his life was a gold pocket watch. His son Vincent, in an act of remembrance and reverence, wore that watch till his last breath. Number 8. The Tale of the Lucky Survivor In a world where survival could be a crime, meet Hosono, a Japanese civil servant. Dispatched to Russia by the Japanese Ministry of Transport, his journey saw him boarding the Titanic as a second-class passenger. Not out of necessity, but to avoid unsettling the elite first-class passengers with his non-European countenance. Despite being a government dignitary, he opted for discretion over luxury, but little did he know that this voyage would chart a turbulent course for his life. One night, the hush of slumber was disrupted by a steward's frantic wake-up call. As Hosono tried navigating his way to the deck, he faced challenges, including being mistaken for a third-class passenger. But destiny had other plans. As lifeboat number 10 was being prepared for departure, an officer's shout, Room for two more! echoed. Without hesitation, Hosono jumped in after another man. The safety of the lifeboat, however, was merely the beginning of a storm that awaited him ashore. His story remained relatively under the radar until his return to New York. But upon setting foot in Japan, a barrage of accusations and disdain awaited him. Labeled lucky by local newspapers, Hosono's ordeal intensified. He was branded a coward by the press, leading to public ostracization, the loss of his reputable job, and critiques in academic texts. A claim that both Hosono and the other man had adorned themselves in women's attire to deceive their way onto the lifeboat only added fuel to the fire. While the shadows of doubt and disdain loomed large, Hosono's professional prowess couldn't be overlooked for long. 
The very ministry that once severed ties with him rehired him, valuing his skills and expertise. Yet, the cloud of his titanic survival tale, true or embellished, hovered over him, remaining an enigma till the end. Number 7. Dorothy Gibson. A real-life titanic heroine. Dive into the heart of history, and you'll unearth tales that blend fact with fiction, especially when it concerns the legendary Titanic. The ship's sinking wasn't just a pivotal moment in time, but also a fertile muse for the arts. But let's veer off the well-trodden path of romanticized tales and step into the shoes of someone who was truly there, Dorothy Gibson, an American artist's model, singer, and accomplished film actress. Dorothy's rendezvous with destiny wasn't just about surviving the Titanic's plunge into the icy abyss. Imagine this. Just a month after the tragedy, the first motion picture on the disaster, saved from the Titanic, hit the theaters. And guess who starred in it? None other than Dorothy Gibson. The movie was a groundbreaking moment, not just for its rapid take on real events, but for its inception from the perspective of a real survivor. However, like many enigmas of the bygone era, saved from the Titanic is a lost treasure. Devoured by flames in a 1914 fire at the Eclair Studios, New Jersey, it's a silent film that the world might never witness again. No doubt aficionados would give anything for a glimpse, but unless time travel becomes a reality, this film remains a whispered legend. Number 6. The Titanic or The Olympic The Titanic and its sister ship, The Olympic, both hailed from the White Star Line and were marvels of their time. A theory has persisted over the years, suggesting that there was a deliberate switch between the two vessels. Proponents of this theory believe that the switch was an elaborate insurance scam, given that the Olympic had been involved in a collision and suffered damage. By swapping names, the damaged Olympic would then sail as the Titanic, ensuring a hefty insurance claim upon its sinking. Skeptics of the theory point to the numerous design differences between the two ships, arguing that such a switch would have been an immense logistical challenge. Moreover, historical records and testimonies from the shipyard workers tend to disprove this conspiracy. While the idea of a switch is captivating, it remains in the realm of speculative fiction for many historians. Number 5. The Ship That Didn't Come the story of the SS Californian stands as one of maritime history's most haunting tales of missed opportunity. Positioned just a few miles from the Titanic on that fateful night, the Californian was startlingly close to the unfolding disaster. Yet, in a tragic twist of fate, it failed to come to the aid of the sinking ship. Despite witnessing the Titanic's distress rockets piercing the night sky, the crew of the Californian was ensnared in a web of miscommunication and misunderstanding. These critical lapses in judgment and protocol meant that a ship within potential rescue distance remained a passive observer, as over 1,500 souls met their watery demise. This grievous incident underscores the immense responsibility of maritime communication and the profound consequences that can arise from even the smallest oversights. Number 4. Musicians Played Till the End Amidst the chaos of the sinking Titanic, the heartbeats of the passengers were intertwined with the poignant notes of its courageous band. Contrary to what movies like James Cameron's Titanic or A Night to Remember depict, it wasn't just a string quartet serenading during those perilous times. It was a band of eight stalwarts led by the indomitable Wallace Henry Hartley. From the opulent corners of the first-class saloon to the ship's restaurant, their music echoed, providing solace to the souls aboard. But what was the last hymn that marked the Titanic's tragic demise? While many believe it was nearer my God to thee, survivor Harold Bride, the ship's wireless operator, remembered it differently. He swore the last melancholy strains that graced his ears were from the tune, Autumn. Amidst the haunting symphony of the ship's last moments, the musicians had the presence of mind to safeguard their instruments. Tragically, of the eight, only three were later found. In a chilling revelation, Wallace Hartley's body was discovered almost two weeks post the disaster, gripping the case of his treasured violin. It's eerie to think that perhaps, in death, his violin kept him afloat. An eerie serenade to fate, wouldn't you agree? Number 3. The Optical Illusion Amid the shrouded mysteries of the Titanic's tragic sinking, an unexpected culprit emerges. An optical illusion. Historian Tim Moulton reveals in a groundbreaking study 
that the ill-fated knight witnessed a phenomenon known as super refraction. Imagine light bending in such a way that it conjures deceiving mirages. That's right. The majestic Titanic was betrayed by a mirage. Multiple ships in the vicinity observed this anomaly, but none grasped its perilous implications. With colder air trapped between warmer layers, an unstable atmosphere painted a false horizon. This illusionary vista altered perceptions so drastically that both the Titanic and the nearby Californian failed to recognize the looming iceberg. Even more chilling, the Titanic's desperate distress rockets, sent skyward, seemed unusually low because of this mirage. The Californian, mistaking them for signals from a departing vessel, tragically ignored the Titanic's dire plea for help. Every revelation about that night only deepens its eerie, cursed aura. Number 2. Time to Sink The Titanic met its tragic end on April 14, 1912. After the iceberg's lethal graze, a seemingly eternal two hours and forty minutes ensued, each moment dripping with panic and disbelief. As icy waters surged into the behemoth vessel, passengers and crew were plunged into chaos, desperately seeking lifeboats and means of survival. The ship's distress signals pierced the night, its desperate flares seeking assistance. Abject terror gripped everyone as the unsinkable began its gradual descent. The stern rose, silhouetted against the starlit sky, before the ship fractured and vanished into the abyss. In those harrowing 160 minutes, acts of courage and cowardice, selflessness and betrayal played out, leaving an indelible mark on maritime history. The sinking of the Titanic remains a poignant reminder of nature's might and the hubris of man. Number 1. Mr. Hershey. Amid the global fame of the Hershey's candy empire lies an enthralling tale intertwined with the tragic fate of the Titanic. The universe had other plans for Mr. Milton Hershey, the chocolate magnate. Scheduled to embark on the ill-fated Titanic voyage, destiny intervened. Urgent business commitments called him back to Hershey, Pennsylvania, causing him to reschedule his voyage. Instead of the Titanic, he sailed aboard the German liner, America. By a twist of fate, he set foot in New York City on April 6th, a stark contrast to the doomed fate of the Titanic passengers. While Mr. Hershey had already carved his legacy with his candy prowess, this unforeseen twist added an element of serendipity to his tale. Here's to the man who not only conquered the world of chocolates but also danced with destiny and emerged even luckier. Thank you for being with us. Make sure to watch the next video on your screen. Mind-blowing.